this is Paul Finley from Lone Star School of Music, one of the guitar instructors, and I also teach bass guitar, mandolin, tenor banjo, and Native American flute. And this is going to be your first riff. Um, it's a great riff, still one of the classics. It was when I was first learning, umpteen years ago. And, uh, but we're going to put a few twists on it, and here's the original version, Smoke on the Water. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Love that. So, a common way to make that a lot easier to start with is you do it all on one string. We're going to start by doing that on the low E string. And again, we're going to talk about this anchor here. So, with strumming chords, you have a loose arm. When you're doing single notes like this, you're going to anchor the weight of the whole arm right here and that makes it a lot easier to pick just one string and you're going to pivot like this so look right here what's called the saddle or the bridge um, that's where you're going to put that weight again not floating but anchored there and then we start off with the song so we're going to move it like this So we start with the open string. These are all on the low E, the sixth string. Third fret, first finger. Fifth fret, third finger. Back to the open. Back to the third fret. And then we use our pinky at the sixth fret. And then the fifth fret. And then open, third fret, fifth fret, third fret. Open. Rewind the video to get the sequence. We got. Again, three, four. great attributes of the guitar is you move things you do it on one string do the exact same thing on another string so we can do the same riff all on the high E string and a riff by the way is just a very general term for a musical part or a phrase a main theme if you will that gets used over and over again or uh, repeated a, a number of times to start out the song another good example of that <laughs> Come as you are by Nirvana. Boom, 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 boom. That's a riff. So moving this smoke on the water to the first string, exact same pattern. No frets have changed. No fingerings have changed. And now to get us a little more uh, like the original. We're going to play the two middle strings together, what are called the D and the G, your fourth and third strings. You're going to hit both strings together, pop, like that. Not staggered, but together, like that. And we use our first and second fingers on the third frets of each of the D and G strings, third fret fourth and third strings. And we scoot them up to the fifth fret. Open, third fret, and then that sixth fret. Back to the fifth fret, and then the open. Fifth fret. That'll get your parents' attention. We'll see ya. And if you'd like to get on my schedule, please uh, contact the school to find out my dates and times. Thank you. <laughs>